Welcome to Dashway Talks, a show powered by Dashway Consulting, a China-based strategic market research company founded in 2010. Hello, everyone. My name is Miro. I'm the founder of Double V Consulting. We are a consulting company helping overseas brands into China, and we specially focus on niche platforms such as Xiaohongshu and Bilibili. And we recently launched another training platform called Chinable Academy. We provide online courses and workshops to anyone who is interested to learn about China market, e-commerce, and marketing. What kind of KOLs gained popularity during the coronavirus outbreak? So we see many KOLs like uh, vloggers. They post vlogs, uh, share their daily life. Or we know that um, Bilibili is, um, is a platform that's focused on ACG content, animation, comics, and games. So actually, a lot of KOLs on Bilibili are like gaming KOLs. Like they live stream their um, the, the whole process of they play um, online game or a mobile game. So gaming live streaming is actually becoming more popular and gaming KOLs also become more uh, popular on Bilibili. And also because a lot of uh, people are taking online course on Bilibili or they like to watch uh, educational videos on this platform. And we know that um, there is actually a very popular hashtag on Bilibili called um, study with me. So study with me is actually um, um, started from this platform. So the users, they just live stream their whole process of study. Like when I do this live streaming, I don't really talk anything. I just uh, quietly sit here and uh, I'm just studying or I'm just reading a book, uh, etc. So this is uh, what people, like what students watch on Bilibili when they are trying to, when, when they want to study. So they would open a study live streaming uh, room and they would uh, watch another people. Uh, it's like your virtual companion when you are studying, make you feel less alone. So this is um, the study, the study live streaming KOLs are also becoming more popular. So this is also a very unique thing uh, for Bilibili's platform. How have brands' behaviors on Bilibili changed during the coronavirus? Um, I think brands, they start to do uh, more live streaming and they start to push uh, more videos here on Bilibili during the coronavirus because it's actually live streaming is a very good way to connect with your followers, to um, have closer relationship with them. Like um, I just shared uh, Xiaomi, they have a 72 hour non-stop live streaming and McDonald's, they have a 24 hour non-stop live streaming on Bilibili. And also brands, they start to have offline events to online uh, to live stream this whole event. Like Xiaomi, they have their own press conference. Uh, they live stream their own press conference on uh, Bilibili. And I actually, many brands start to explore some new online channels and they start to set up on Bilibili because uh, uh, during this time, people actually spend more time online and especially on entertainment apps. So uh, apps like uh, Red or Douyin or Bilibili, they actually have more uh, views. So actually a lot of brands, they start to explore new channels. So before that, they may focus more on WeChat, Weibo, these big platforms, but now they start to focus more on niche platforms like Bilibili or Red. So they also start to have more content on Bilibili, like set up their own official account or work with the, or uh, work with KOLs on Bilibili to push their brands and products. What are your suggestions to brands that currently want to launch campaigns on Bilibili? Um, I think first um, you need to understand the Gen Zers because your target customer, uh, the, the users of Bilibili mostly are Gen Z. So you need to understand this group of audience and you need to speak their language. So if you only post two formal or two official content, 
um, it's not really useful or some hard selling content it's not very useful on Bilibili so you have to understand this group of content and you need to speak their language and also you need to be creative because um, Bilibili's uh, users they are actually very strict on the content quality so if you can provide value or provide information useful information to them even though it's an ad they are actually willing to watch it so you have to learn to be creative to present your brand or products in a creative way and to learn to um, provide more value instead of just hard selling thing to your customers and if you want to launch campaigns on Bilibili, you need to really choose the local KOLs, the suitable KOLs. Because um, Bilibili users, they are more familiar with the deep-rooted local Bilibili KOLs. So you have to um, really select and you need to understand like, which KOLs is more uh, localized. They actually know how to communicate with their audience. You, so you need to choose the suitable KOLs. And also because we know bullet screen is actually a very unique function to this platform. Uh, in Chinese, it's called Dan Mu. So um, brands, they can actually learn how to use bullet screen function to communicate with your um, customers or use this function to advertise. So this is also what brands can explore on the platform. How did Billy Billy users respond to coronavirus? So at the beginning, um, like the users on other platforms, Bilibili users, they also share a lot of news uh, of related to COVID-19 outbreak. And they also share a lot of instructions to prevent um, this disease and also like how to disinfect, how to wear the masks. Um, so this is similar to other platforms. So we see some instructional videos provided by uh, Bilibili content uh, producers to talk about COVID-19 outbreak. And later on, uh, more and more users start to start to talk about like how to have the entertainment activities at home, or how to have some DIY food or DIY cooking videos. So this is what people pay more attention um, later. And actually, during this outbreak, Bilibili was also appointed by the Shanghai government as the official platform for the students in Shanghai to take online courses. So um, we see a lot of um, teachers from elementary school or high school, they started to do online courses. So no matter it's a pre-recorded course or a live streaming course, so they started to do uh, online courses on, on Bilibili and uh, the students uh, in Shanghai, they are required to take this course uh, on Bilibili. So during this time, actually, a lot of Bilibili users are starting to study uh, on this platform or watch some educational videos here. So I think this is maybe this may be the difference from other platforms. Bilibili generally targets Gen Z consumers. How do brands appeal to Gen Z during COVID-19? Can you share some examples? Um, I think there are some very interesting uh, examples here. So first one I want to share is from Dingtalk. Um, Dingtalk, we know it's a working app um, created by Alibaba. So normally it's the um, people who use it during work, like um, uh, long, no matter you, you, you need to work at home, so you will use this app to uh, talk to or to coordinate with your colleagues or your clients. But during the COVID-19, um, the Dintalk app actually became an online course platform because a lot of uh, students, they have to take online course uh, on Dingtalk app and their teachers are, uh, they would do live streaming courses on this app. So it's very funny because we know that students, they actually resent taking online course and um, it's hard to concentrate at home and the connections is sometimes off and sometimes Dingtalk just has bugs. So. Turns out, um, in the end, a large group of students, they go to the iOS store to give Dingtalk this app one star review and negative or some very sarcastic comments. And then um, to reach 
Gen Zers. Ding Talk, they posted a video on Billy Billy and ask for forgiveness and better reviews from the students. So uh, in the video, the lyrics actually says, I sincerely beg you to spare my life. You are all my papa. Please stop giving me one star review. So this is a very interesting, very funny video. You have to check it out. And this apology video, it went, it went viral. And now it has more than 20 million views on Bilibili alone. And it has created a, a buzz, a massive buzz across all the social media in China. And Ding Talk's account is actually now a famous corporate account on Bilibili and it has more than 1 million followers here. So you can see how they reach um, Gen Z is in a very interesting, very funny way. So using your corporate account, they don't really post very official, very formal content. Instead, they use Gen Zers language to talk to Gen Z. So this is very funny. And we also see some other brands, for example, Xiaomi. Xiaomi is a Chinese mobile phone brand. And because um, during COVID-19, they can't really have an offline event. So at that time, they were launching a new phone. So they, they just moved this uh, press conference online. So they do the live streaming on Bilibili to live stream the whole press conference. And this is the first time they do this. And uh, uh, during this time, they also host 72-hour um, non-stop live streaming for their new products and they give out a lot of uh, free gifts during the live streaming. So this is, um, Xiaomi is actually the first one to do this. And after that, uh, we see um, other brands like Huawei, they also have the live streaming press conference on Bilibili. And we even see McDonald's, uh, like two weeks ago, they were launching a new product and they also did live streaming on Bilibili. So this is also very um, interesting cases. Any questions? We will find an expert to answer them. Drop your questions in the comments or send us an email, dx at dashwayconsulting.com.